Hello and welcome to another video from Mario's Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we are looking at something that's very old and something that's now quite rare. Um, that's probably due to because the short run uh, that it entailed during its printing life. Uh, we are looking at the 1975 release by IPC Magazines from their Vulcan series of weekly comics. And this particular issue we are looking at today is the very first issue um, that was released on the 27th of September 1975. Now, I said it was a short-lived comic. Um, it ran for 28 issues only. Um, and it ran from September 75 and finished in August um, 76. Um, even though it's supposed to be weekly, it didn't end up being weekly. Um, and it was a pretty much almost a year so 52 weeks, I suppose, and so I think they went to, to bi-weekly um, and then to monthly towards the end. Um, but uh, only 28 um, comics were in the series before it finally verged with its sister comic, which was Valiant. It merged with Valiant. OK, so this is the front cover. And it says, number one of a great new paper, Vulcan, 27th of September 1975, every Monday. And the cover price was eight pence. Oh, if only they were that price now. Um, and it's you've got an image there of My Tech the Mighty Ape. And it says, see the incredible adventures of My Tech the Mighty Ape inside. And free inside is the super potato gun. And sensational thrills with the Trigon Empire. Electrifying shocks with the steel claw. And fantastic action with Robot Archie. Okay, so that's the front cover. Let's just flip it over and see what we've got on the back. OK, well, on the back, it's obviously the back of a story that's from the inside. So we won't spend too much time looking at this. Um, it's obviously the final page of one of the other stories. It looks like it's Robot Archie. But anyway, we get, we come to that when we go into the comic. So let's turn it around, open it up and have a look at the contents. OK, so I've turned the comic around and I've opened up the front page. Um, and this is what we've got on the front page. So it tells you the um, assembly instructions for the potato gun, which is the free ki free gift that is contained in this um, edition of Volgan, which we get to that in a moment. And it tells you what next week's free gift is. So the next week's free gift was um, a set of cards um, for the Fantastic Numbers game, which made your friend, baffled your friends. It's straightforward. Um, illusion if you like um they pick a number and you ask them which cards it on and each time um you you add the corners of the number together and you end up with their number they picked anyway that's a side thing um so the first comic strip story in this particular um comic is called the spider and it's a black and white comic strip um and it features the hero known as the spider Nothing with no relation to Spider-Man, incidentally. Um, the second one is called Sabre, King of the Jungle. Again, it's an, another black and white comic strip. Um, it's obviously all about um, the jungle. Now, we get to this page, uh, which is page 13, and you can see the potato gun is still attached to this page. It's glued in, um, and... Uh, which is which is this is how they come new obviously this this particular comic we're looking at today was former shop stock from a closed down comic shop bookshop so it's never actually um uh, was never actually sold it was contained inside a, a wallet uh with a board on the back and it stayed there um and we found it in their um storeroom um it hadn't been on the shelf for donkey's years so anyway that that's the um the pop gun and it's all still sealed in the envelope oh the tape is just lifting off of there i just noticed that that the tape has come off a little bit i'm just gonna put that back there so i don't want to um damage anything but you can see the pop gun is still all contained and it is all still in there on the sprue inside the packet okay the next story is then a color comic strip story which is called the trigon empire um, and it's a uh, great artwork, I must say, and it's in full colour, which was quite unusual of comics of the time, um, because it was expensive to print comics in colour. Um, but this is quite a long comic strip, actually. So it runs right up to page 20. And then we move on to another comic strip, which is called The Steel Claw, 
Um, but they've now gone back to black and white. And it's a black and white comic strip, which is, um, I remember the Steel Claw. It was such a, a gripping, gripping story uh, back in the day. So, um, yeah, really good story, that. Uh, Kelly's Eye is the next one. And again, it is also another black and white comic strip. Um, and that runs for four or five pages. And then we've got Robot Archie, um, which is back into colour again and is the final story of the comic. And it does run over to the back page, which is where we looked at earlier. Okay, so that is the very first issue of the comic Vulcan. So, how well did this comic do? Well, overall, it was... I suppose it was pretty, pretty much doomed from the beginning. Um, it was a smaller comic in comparison to what IPC had produced. Um, it was more geared to compete with the American comics that were making their way over um, from America to the UK. Um, however, um, the I think the production was a problem with this comic because um, even though it was supposed to be every Monday, um, which it, it began to, to come out weekly, but then it was seemed to go to fortnightly before it went to monthly so and only a quantity of 28 issues were produced um and by the time 28 come the the um subscribers was minimal which is why they ended up merging the stories with um a sister comic valiant uh which then went on to totally absorb the comic and it disappeared from reality if you like so overall, it wasn't the best-selling comic, um, and it was a, certainly a change from IPC's format of comics. Um, of course, now we're talking at what we're talking. We're talking forty, forty-nine years on, nearly fifty years. Um, these comics are now incredibly collectible, especially with the free gifts. Uh, the free gifts add untold value to these comics. Um, especially when they're in this kind of condition. Now, this is an unsold version. Like I say, it was it was part of a, a, a comic, a comic and toy shop which closed down during the COVID um, years or COVID year. Um, and we went in and bought out all their stock, and we found this particular comic in the stock room um, where it was in a bag uh, with a board and had been sat inside a box for God knows how many years. Uh, unsold and left just like this so it is exactly how you would have bought it had you been subscribing to it back in 1975 again all the colors are still nice and vibrant there's a little bit of fading on there i don't quite know it might have been where the bag is actually stuck to the the packet so it's lifted a little bit but other than that the rest of the comic is in absolutely fantastic condition um so there we have it very collectible now, very hard to find with, uh, in this condition with the free gift. But, yes, you know, we at Minus Touch have managed to find one or two. And they're currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage comics and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I'm absolutely positive that you won't want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you'd be looking for. Okay, that is it for me on the review of this particular comic. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.